What's the rumour? What's the rumour? Apparently there's a rumour going around that... I heard about this rumour. The girls went wild. Tamara, Jessica, Carolina, I mean Carolina, Kate and her twin sister was just doing some weird crap. They even went and called Ella and Dominica and Megan and was just spewing hate. And I wasn't about to report that after the great weekend we just had. Tamara, Jess, Carolina and Kate, the awesome foursome, dishing out abuse over the phone to me and basically every other maths contestant there was. Now, speaking of Tamara, Ella and Brent, I have a new story and let's get to it. We all saw that married at first sight Brent had a tumultuous relationship with his on-screen wife Tamara during their time on the show. Is he enough for you? I don't know yet. How's that feel, Brent? Did you hear that? Kicking the guts. With Brent eventually walking away from the relationship at final vows. Now that the show is over, Brent isn't holding back and has revealed some X-rated secrets about his past relationship with Tamara. Brent revealed it took a while for him and Tamara to consummate their marriage, so instead he took those long showers. Um, me and Tamara took a while because it was hard to kind of read her and and I, I guess, yeah, I just wasn't sure when it would be okay. So mm. the way the way I kind of, the way we got to it was kind of weird. So it kind of got to a point where she goes, why are you taking so long in the shower? I was like, well, I was, you know, doing my thing as a man. Um, she goes, well, why would you do that if you got me here? And I went, wait, what? I didn't know that was an option and that's where I was the only way I even knew because reading her was difficult and I'm usually really good with reading someone but that was just yeah it kind of put me off. Brett admits that while sex didn't have a positive impact on their relationship it wasn't a big part of their time together. Even after we were kind of laughing and and getting along so it looked like it was going to a better level after that. Um, and it didn't happen too many times after, but yeah, it, like it did. But it was hard because she's got certain times that you have to do it at, and that's it. Yeah, so I won't get into it because I don't want to. I don't want to say too much about her personal, you know, whatever. But yeah, so it wasn't too many times after that. But I think it did bring us closer. We all know that Ella would have been a better match for Brent. And when the podcast host asked Brent about the hypothetical question. If Ella would have been a better match for Brent, this is what Brent had to say. Uh, yeah, look, the whole Team Brella thing. Um, yeah, there's a lot of <laughs> a lot of talk about it, but there's no pressure. Look, we've spoken about it. Me and her have, have had, had this had conversation, conversation many, many, times. many times. And we there's an attraction, yes, and there is, you know, great chemistry. And we, we spoke about if we were matched, would things be much different? And 100%, I think we'd probably still be together. Brent dismissed the rumors that insinuated Brent and Ella were dating, saying that they are friends first and confirming they are not diving headfirst into a romantic relationship at this stage. There's so much going on. There wouldn't be time to date if we, if we tried, whether it was us or with other people. There's just a lot going on. Um, so I guess it's just kind of just getting through what we're going through right now and I don't know, just see what happens with life, I guess. Mm. Hey, Couch Potato, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.